Hey everybody, how's it going? Rob Coser here with Motolabdirtbikes.com and today we're going to show you how to remove the cartridge rod seal. So it's a little guy that's down here. It's pretty common on the show suspension systems um, for these to actually leak and you have your sealed chamber here which actually all the fluid on this particular one actually ran out because this seal was damaged. It's pretty common for these guys and what will happen is you'll lose all your rebound so what we're going to show you today is uh, how to simply remove this so just a list of tools before we get started is a 17 millimeter wrench and or 17 millimeter allen head and 964 drill bit and a just a uh, map gas torch so what we're going to do is actually put this guy into the vise and if you look Right here you've got these little divots right here where it's actually pinned into the threads. This is threaded down in here. So what we're going to do is actually drill a series of these, I think it's uh, four or six. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We grab our drill, come in here, center it up. And then what we're going to do is aim to actually go in and actually pass through this metal, this aluminum tube into the actual uh, threads just a little bit. So if you watch, the actual um, chips that are coming off the drill bit when you see the long stringing ones actually fling off then that's kind of a good indicator to back off so let's go ahead and check it out we got the long chips curly cues there we go easy turn it do the next one See that big curly cue fly off? It's kind of a good indicator. Now this this aluminum is probably approximately two millimeters thick, so two to three millimeters thick, so I'll give you an idea how far to go. So some people will index their drill bits to give them a better idea if you're not too good on depth reception. So take and do that. Pull it out. Just give her a little quick wipe down. Get all the chips off. Take a gander at it. Make sure we're into the threads on each one. Because if you don't go too, if you don't go far enough, it's really going to be a bear to get out. So what we'll do is actually there's a flat right here, four-sided flat. So you'd actually be able to torque it and not actually because if you crush this tube you're going to be in a world of trouble because that's actually where your mid valve slides up and down so if you get a tight spot or you crunch the tube you're, you're SOL so what we do is just heat it up doesn't need much just a little something to break and seal it free just heating up this outer tube See a little smoke coming out, we're good there. Insert our Allen head, 17 millimeter wrench. Give it, put the torque into to her. And there we go. So I'm gonna take and wind it out, be careful, because she's gonna be piping hot. So make sure you use a rag or such to grab it and unscrew it the rest of the way out. So without trying to burn myself see if I can give you a good look here at what we're working with there we go so that's the actual seal itself so that's the one that uh, generally goes bad uh, it's pretty typical on these like I said uh, for those seals to go bad and then let all the fluid out of what once was a uh, sealed cartridge so it's pretty simple uh, straightforward to get these guys out all I really do is just they're just in there it's a press fit so that's all, I, that's all there is to it. So put in your new seal and then uh, what we do is go ahead and red Loctite this. Make sure it's fully clean with a brake cleaner or a solvent before you put it back together with a lot of red Loctite. And uh, there's your Showa uh, damper rod uh, seal installation. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.